Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to the brand new Division video, what if you guys today is my Alpha Bridge build from yesterday. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, this probably makes zero sense, Um, I pretty much posted a gameplay that a lot of people said they want to see the build for, I dropped I think a 31 or a 32 kill streak and I also got about 35 or something kills in last stand solo, and I asked you guys if you want to see the build, a lot of people said they do. So this is what the video is going to be about. So if you guys do enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for my videos, and let's get right into this build. The first thing I do want to say is this is an exact replica I was using in Last Stand. Nothing changed about this build. Uh, there's no different gear mods or weapon mods, nothing like that. This is exactly how it was. So I guess we're going to start off the abilities first. What I'm using is booster shot and the pulls. Uh, for my pulls, I'm using actually tactical scanner. I don't know why I always use this pulls. I know people like using scrambler so they don't appear, uh, you know, on the other player's screen or anything like that. I just run tactical scanner for the extra damage and I don't know, I always used it so I'm, you know, kind of sticking to it. And then I'm using also booster shot. Now a lot of people don't really like it because the heals with it are pretty bad. But you do get a damage increase so that's why I kind of use it. And also if you have first aid self heal mods and you have all of them uh, stacked on your build, the heals are actually not that bad and I don't know, it's, it works out perfect for me. Uh, you guys can use overdose, it's up to you. Now, uh, for the talents, this is where a lot of people always ask me what talents I'm using on my build. So first up, we have critical save. Critical save, very, very good, especially if you're playing solo, uh, this comes in handy. Next up, we have strike back, reach low health to reduce active skill cooldown by 20%. This is a must on every single build. If you guys don't use strike back, I would 110% recommend using it, it's very handy and it comes in clutch a lot. Uh, then I'm also using Steady Hands. Now Steady Hands, a lot of people don't really know about it. It's very good if you go and cover a lot and when I play, I usually sit and cover sometimes. Like if I'm in a gunfight and I feel like I'm getting damaged too much or I see two of them, I always go and cover. And when you go and cover, uh, it pretty much gives you a 25% stability increase or reduced recoil, whatever you want to call it. And it's very good uh, to hit headshots and just pretty much beam the person. And especially if you're using something like a bullfrog or a gun with a lot of recoil, this is really, really nice. Uh, last but not least, I'm actually using on the move. Now, once again, uh, this, in my opinion, is a must-use talent. What it does is kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 15% for 10 seconds. So, uh, pretty much self-explanatory. It's really good if you're playing by yourself with a team, no matter what you're doing. Uh, this is very, very nice. So that's pretty much it for my talents. Moving into the inventory for the actual build. So as you guys can see, this is the build. What I'm rocking with is 4 Alpha Bridge and 2 pieces of high end. I'm actually using my Alpha Bridge chest piece, my backpack, my holster, and my knee pads. And then I'm also using a rehabilitated mask and savage gloves as my other 2 pieces of gear. Uh, but we're going to start off with the weapons first. I want to show you guys what I'm rocking with. So what I have on my primary weapon is 22% enemy armor damage, 22.6k base damage, which might seem uh, like it's pretty low, but it does get normalized to about 23.5k in last hand, which is very good. Like I said, it might not be the highest base damage weapon, but in my opinion, I still do enough damage to pretty much bring uh, down anyone I see. Anyways, for the talents, what I have is competent, responsive, deadly, and unforgiving. So as you guys can see, this is pretty much a god roll lightweight M4. The only thing I was missing was unforgiving. And with 4 piece alpha bridge, you get that extra talent, and I did have unforgiving on my other one. So I do end up with a godly M4. Uh, now for the weapon mods, what I'm using is all critical hit damage. I'm not going to go over everything. I'm just going to show you guys so you guys can see. I pretty much have critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and headshot damage on everything I possibly can. I don't really want to stack into headshot damage because on console, it's a little bit more difficult to get headshots. On PC, if you are on PC, you can probably stack into headshot damage and make this build even more effective. But if you're on consoles, uh, critical hit damage is your best friend. Moving on to the main part of the build is actually the gear. Um, so I guess we're going to start off with the chest piece first. Uh, what I have on it is firearms, health on kill, health, and ammo capacity. The one thing I wish I did have was skill haze instead of health on kill. Don't get me wrong, it's not, you know, the worst thing in the game. But if I did have skill haze, I would be getting my booster shot, my pulse a little bit quicker. And I think that in my mind, that would be a bit more effective uh, than if I do have health on kill. But it's alright, hopefully I'll get another chest piece uh, that's really good very, very soon. For the mask, once again, I am using rehabilitated. This is a very, very underrated mask and I feel like a lot of people don't really use it. Especially in Last Stand, it's so useful. Whenever you go on fire or you do have a status effect on your character, 
instead of losing health, you actually get 2% health every second, which like I said, if you're one shot, you want to get hit by a Seeker Mind. Not the actual explosion, just the fire on the ground. You want to go in that so you can get your health back. And there's so many times where I purposely like go in fire or purposely uh, go into a grenade in order to get a status effect. Once again, rehabilitated, in my opinion, very, very underrated. I would recommend giving it a try and seeing if you guys like it. I also have critical hit chance as my major attribute, and then my minor attribute is disorient resistance, which I wish I could get burn resistance. I, I'm pretty sure you can get burn resistance on a mask. If you can't, uh, then never mind. But if you can, I wish I had burn resistance on here so I do get out of that status effect a bit quicker. Anyways, for the knee pads, what I'm using is Alpha Bridge with critical hit damage. In my mind, this is a godly pair of knee pads. I have the two resistance that I really need the most in Last Stand, and that's Burn and Shock. Uh, I absolutely hate, you know, getting hit by Flame Turrets or Shock Turrets, so I wanted as much of that as possible. I did also go with Critical Hit Damage instead of Health. I feel like I do have enough Health on this build. For the backpack, I actually have Health, Firearms once again, and Burn Resistance. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, for the gloves, I do have Critical Hit Damage, Critical Hit Chance, Assault Rifle Damage, and I actually a very, very bad stamina roll. Now, if this could be a better stamina roll, it would the build would be even better, but since it does get normalized in Last Stand, it's not that big of a deal. And last but not least, for the holster, once again, I have a Alpha Bridge holster with health on it, and also a really nice firearms and stamina roll that I got pretty lucky with. So yeah, that's pretty much the overall build. The final thing I do want to show you guys are my character stats. Uh, so first, we're going to start off with the uh, weapon damage. I do have 23,000 weapon damage. But in last stand, it does go up to, I think, 24, 24.5 weapon damage uh, right there. And it also, my critical hit chance does go up to like 21 or 22%, which is very nice, very good. And also, the final thing I want to show you guys is my health, which is right here. I do have 224,000 health. And last stand, it does go up to around 230,000 which is very nice. I feel like I'm a bit more tanky with this build when I do have 8,000 firearms, but it's still a very good, reliable build. You can go and 1v2 or 1v3 players. Uh, so like I said, that is it for the build. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. For the gear mods, what I'm all using are firearms and health mods. For anyone that is curious, I only have firearms health mods on this build. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next